Okay, folks, this is the next job. The trailer is rotten here and here, 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 and on the two bits on the back as well. Come and have a closer look. Here and here. And this one here is a little bit bad. Not too bad here, but a little bit. That's the worst one. Electrolysis, even on a trailer. But it had some it has some pads that sit here, some pads of aluminium, and the water gets in between the two pads and just festers it and this is the result after a number of years of in being in that environment. So my plan is to cut out the infected part and then replace it with some six mil rather than this little four mil. I'll just put some six mil plate in there, easier to weld onto and it shouldn't take too long. And if I can fix that, it can't be any wider because it's got some U-bolts that go over the top of here. It can be taller, but I don't need to make it taller because I'll cut out the, the bit and lower it down into it. So it'll still have a thick piece of metal there. So for this repair, I am just going to cut out the infected section. Both sides, marking it. is 220 long by seventy wide. I think I'm gonna need four of them. There's enough past each edge there. So I'm gonna cut out four of those and I'll come and cut all of these out with the air saw trim them out, fit the piece in. I can use any material. I could even use checker plate upside down if I've got some, just to smooth it all off. It'll look nice. Here's our piece, 220, mm, eight. That's no good, 800. But it is 140 wide, so I can get 70, 70, I only need two pieces, 220, 440, square that off, One forty wide, I need it seventy. One forty wide, I need it seventy. And we'll go and cut that in the gibbo. I'm just marking this for your for your viewing. Oh, that's gonna be cut through there, and that will give me four pieces. We'll go and hit that in the gilo right now. piece around the back and with this and these are our four pieces 
Now we go and cut them out with my favourite air saw and weld them in. That's what we're going to cut out. Need a little sand on the inside there. There's a little bit of a lip. This side here, I've got the lip off. Weld that up. Should be good enough penetration through everything. It was quite hot when I ran that there. Let that cool down and I'll sand it off.
hey, I'm not gonna bore you with another three of these to go, but uh, that turned out pretty neat, you know, and I think that's all that's required. Instead of it being four mil trailer now, we've gone with a bit of six mil, and it was actually checker plate, um, and six mil thick is just plenty enough. Plenty of penetration through these here and welding in the corners there. That's just one repair done. Easy to do. Uh, stick around for the next uh, video drop on Friday. If you've uh, got some time up your sleeve, go back and watch some of my other videos. There's some great ones on there. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.